Hey there, today we're gonna be talking about something that's kind of everywhere lately, AI or artificial intelligence. But don't worry, this isn't some science fiction video and I promise no robots are coming to take your toaster. In fact, AI tools like ChatGPT can actually help make your life a little bit easier, especially with things like writing, planning, or even just having some fun. So let's dive in, no programming or tech degree required. Okay, so one of the most popular AI tools today is ChatGPT, and that's the one that I'm gonna use for this video, okay? So there's a lot of AI tools out there. I'm gonna focus today on ChatGPT because it's one of the most widely used ones and it's super easy to get to, super easy to use. A lot of the other ones are too, but this is the one that I use the most frequently. So uh, pretty much you just go to chatgpt.com and once you're at chatgpt.com, you'll see this screen here. It's gonna ask you what's on your mind today. And as it says right there, we can ask it anything, okay? So for example, let's say that I have a cousin who is going to have a birthday, right? And maybe he likes gardening and I want to do like sort of a gardening dad joke for him, right? So I could do, write a funny birthday message for my cousin who loves gardening and dad jokes. Cool, right? So perfect, so we'll type that in and here it goes, right? So it's gonna say, I hope your dad is unbelievably awesome and filled with more joy than a tomato plant in July, or I hope your day is. You're officially another year older, don't worry. You're still mulch younger than you act, okay? Uh, and they give a couple other ones and I could always ask for more, like uh, give me a couple more, right? Could even ask it to get more specific, like um, give me a couple more that are, you know, darker or you know, whatever whatever theme you're going for, right? Now, obviously this kind of takes some of the human aspect out of it. We're pretty much cheating here. We're having the AI do the work for us. Uh, we're not being very genuine or uh, authentic in what we would be, you know, using here. But it is a great way to kind of get you, get your mind moving. Maybe you just read these prompts, you look at what the chat uh, gives you, what the AI gives you, and, uh, and, and then run with it. You could basically build your own joke or again, you know, use it as inspiration. Or if you're just not creative, you could, you could use these as well. So this is a great example of, um, you know, one way that it can help you with writing, right? So you could apply this to uh, writing an essay, writing a book, uh, writing a memo, writing an email. There's a lot of different uses for this, right? So like, let's say I need to do, uh, write me a professional uh, email regarding an upcoming meeting about not microwaving your fish uh, on lunch break, okay? <laughs> Just something funny, right? So now it's gonna come up with uh, a little response here, right? Pretty funny here, hi team. And then they give you some, they don't fill everything out at the bottom, they, ha they have where you could put your own name, your position, and then the company name in. Uh, but they do a lot of the groundwork for you, right? So of nice little email here that we could use. So this is a great example of how ChatGPT can help you write. Okay, so that was still kind of a fun way to show how AI can help you with writing prompts or just writing in general. Um, again, that can help you with writing scripts, writing emails, a whole bunch of stuff. But now I wanna show you another really fun aspect of AI, and that is using it to generate images or um, edit and alter images that you already have. So what I did, was I hit this little plus down here in the bottom to add a photo uh, of my cat. So I'm gonna have it turn my cat into a knight. So I'm gonna put in here, um, use this photo to turn my cat into a knight um, with a medieval, well, we'll do like a, with a video game style theme. Uh, Cause I like video games and then we'll do, um, Keep it as close to the original image as possible, okay? Now, I like to put that in there because sometimes ChatGPT gets a little carried away and it changes the image to where it's like, this isn't even close to what I gave you. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what it can do for me. Now, typically image creation does take a minute, so we'll give it a moment to finish the image. All right, everyone, so ChatGPT just finished up with the image that I asked it to create. Uh, here's the original, right? So this is my little kitten. And you can see they turned her into a knight, right? She looks way more noble, uh, looking pretty awesome. So I can download this image now uh, to have it, right? I can use it, like, use it as a background or something like that or a profile picture or something funny like that. 
Now, this is just one example of how you can use ChatGPT for image creation, okay? You don't even need to upload anything. You could actually just put a prompt in here and ask it to create something from scratch, which is really fun too. Um, so I've gone down that uh, that rabbit hole a few nights of just kind of creating images and having fun with ChatGPT. So I hope this video helped you understand what it's for, how to use it, right? It's kind of just a, an assistant or a tool, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video. Um, in, and it can assist you in your workflow. It can assist you with fun stuff. There's a lot of different things in your professional life that it can help you with and in your entertainment world that it can help you to, uh, you know, create things you might not have been able to do on your own. Now, if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe down below. And if you're having trouble with your computer or other technology, hit us up where my computer works, the numbers at the beginning, the end of the video, and down in the description. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.